Hastings is a warm and plentiful district, a place in the sun feeding the world with its abundant riches, glorious fresh fruit and produce, award-winning wines, swimming and biking, fantastic weather and fun in the sun. Hastings has an outstanding landscape, the triple peaks of Temata and the stunning Cape Kidnappers with its famous colony of gannets. Hastings is the heart for many of New Zealand's favourite sporting pursuits and attractions. The business and retail precinct is at the top of its game. At the helm, its innovative, hard-working community, a diverse global and Māori culture enrich our district. Our kete is now full to the brim. Come and bask in the bounty of the Hastings district, the heart of Hawke's Bay. Ultramox, the multi-worming solution for horses from Bayer. Ultramox is the only triple active wormer that contains moxidectin. Ultramox is effective against internal parasites of horses, but the addition of moxidectin means that it's also active against encysted cyathostomes. Ultramox was developed in New Zealand and is manufactured in New Zealand for New Zealand horses. Available from your local vet, equine specialty or farm supply store. Bayer, science for a better life. Holoquia brand is founded upon the life and the way of life in this part of the world. We want to create fragrances that reflect our lifestyle here and reflect who we are as people. It's important that the environment, the fragrances, the natural waxes and everything play together to create this one beautiful thing. Quiz. Query. Try, spy, take cover, go for a swim, go on a whim, go outside in and inside out. Look once, look twice, follow a compass, not a clock. Never stop discovering. So welcome to Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. We are moments from getting underway in the Land Rover CCI Three Star, the Cost Country Day here at Land Rover Horse of the Year. We have 26 combinations to tackle this Chris Ross designed course. They are gonna jump 20 co numbered combinations. They will jump the wonderful Burley Arch uh, amongst other things. They will start over on the polo grounds. We will pick up the camera. We will have a six second delay on our number one camera from the start. They start over at the polo grounds. They jump the rugby houses and then the groundsman picnic table all on the polo grounds. They come to fences 4A and B on the side of Elwood Road. And then we head to the angled brush. Fences five and six. Uh, up on the top edge of the main arenas here at Land Rover Horse of the Year. The camera you see there in front of you will pick them up as they come over fences 5A and 6. 7A and B and C. That's the big ones you see here in Land Rover Premier Arena. Over the big logs to the corners. They'll jump the wine barrels, which is the Church Road wine barrels here in Land Rover Premier Arena the three star and the four star. They'll then disappear, they'll hang it right and then left and then right again as they go around the Hawke's Bay Contracting Dressage Arena and then they head to Waikoko Gardens for the first time of two on the Land Rover Horse of the Year CCI three star track. Fences eight is the captain's log over by the Land Rover Burley Day 
Waikoko Gardens. A VIP tent, a big welcome to you all over by the Waikoko Gardens. And I hope you enjoy the Waikoko Gardens hospitality over there for the VIP marquee and or in the Bostock picnic. They then disappear out of sight at the top end of Kenilworth Road. They jump fences 11, which is the treasure chest, and they then go to Lambent's Couch, an iconic Lambent's Couch from Land Rover Burley Horse Trials in England. And then they head to the two Land Rover Discoveries. The three star will only jump one of those two, and the four star will jump both of them. They have a bent option there to jump that in four strides and then a two strides to the second Discovery Land Rover. They'll then shoot out of the way back up towards Kenilworth Road and Karamu Road North. They'll go around the track and come back into sight. Here you see our Waikoko Gardens. They'll jump through the lovely Land Rover Burley Arch. We had it here first time last year and it's, it's one of the iconic Burley jumps. Chris Ross has been given the opportunity to have here on his course. They are replicas. We haven't imported them from Burley, but there are nine replica jumps from here that you will also see at Burley. They jump through the Burley Arch and they come to the Waikoko Gardens. The Land Rover splash, then to the Waikoko Corner. That's the second time through the Waikoko Gardens. You see there in front of you on your screen now at the Waikoko Gardens. They then jump through fences 16A, B and C. They'll then disappear and head towards the leaf pit and they'll pop back into view after they jump the diggers ditch and come to the Land Rover roll top here in Land Rover Premier Arena will be our last fence. They'll finish here in the Land Rover Premier Arena First time for 2020, as we see there, some of these beautiful Land Rover jumps over at the Waikoko Gardens. If you get a chance to head over there to the Waikoko Gardens, please be safe. Be very, very mindful that some of these horses are galloping at four to 500 metres a minute. Be aware as you cross laneways, listen to and respect the stewards those of you here on the grounds for Land Rover Burley Day. Twenty six combinations will go and tackle this cost country course. There was a little bit of a shuffle up after the show jumping with overnight leader Monica Oakley dropping down to seventh place after the cross country and sixth place Donna Edwards Smith on DS Clooney jumping up to the overnight lead after the show jumping and they went on 32.7. They sit on 32.7 on board DS Clooney, Donna Edwards Smith and the Land Rover CCI three star. You see these wonderful pictures coming to you. Those of you watching via a live stream, via Sky Sport Next. And those of you lucky enough to be here at Land Rover Burley Day. Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. We hope you enjoy our coverage. We are moments from making a start. Land Rover CCI three star. The first horse makes its way to the start box. We get confirmation, remembering we do have a six second delay in the coverage of the first horse out of the start box. The first horse will be audio only. We are moments away. Land Rover CCI three star cross country day here. Land Rover Burley day. Settle on in for a couple of hours of unbelievable cross-country action.
So Rosa Miller is the first combination underway. Back number 301. Rides DSE Mister. She works for Donna Smith Eventing and her biggest supporters, Kate Ann Stu Miller. She jumps fence three and she comes across Elwood Road. Rosa Miller aboard DSE Mister. They had a dressage score of 59.4% left them in 22nd place. After the show jumping, they had a penalty of 52.6. You see her as she heads up the little stock bank to fences five and six. The four star will jump that fence. You see there as Rosa canters on down the hill. She'll make her way back towards Land Rover Premier Arena. She weaves through the two minor rings. She comes now towards the Land Rover Lounge. First combination to Land Rover Premier Arena. She comes to the wine barrels. Rosa Miller, DSE Mister, the familiar blue cap of Rosa. Over A and B, Church Road wine barrels, nicely done. We see her disappear towards the dressage arenas, comes to the log. Up and over the log she goes. She comes now to Waikoko Gardens. First combination to Waikoko Gardens for 2020, Rosa Miller and DS Mister. Works for Donna Edward Smith that live in Christchurch. Nicely through as she goes away from the Land Rover Discovery. She'll come back into view and jump that brush right there you see in front of you. She disappears out of sight towards fences nine. That is the corporate bank on Kenilworth Road. Over by the golf driving range, Rosa Miller aboard DSE Mister. They sit in 21st place after the show jumping. comes back into view now. Here she is over the iconic Lambert's couch. Up and over the first of the discoveries. She'll disappear out of sight again as she heads back towards Kenilworth Road and up to Karamu North. She'll go around the mounted games area and she'll come back into view as she heads towards the Burley Arch. Back number 302. Savannah Sterling aboard Nahiwi Lenny. We see them jump the first fence there. Now here we Lenny and Savannah Sterling. They were 17th after the dressage with a 62.3 dressage score. A clear show jumping, moving them up to sixth place with a 37.7 after the show jumping. They'll come into sight as they cross Elwood Road. DSE Mr. Ann Rosa Miller are heading towards the Burley Arch, and they'll come to the second time in Waikoko Gardens. Nahiwi Lenny and Savannah Sterling. Pop into sight there at fence three. The groundsman's picnic table. The final fence, they jump on the polo grounds for 2020. She gallops across Elwood Road and heads towards fence four. Rosa Miller and DSE Mister make their way towards the Waikoko Gardens for the second time. At it now, big leap into the water at the Waikoko Gardens up and over A and B. Savannah Sterling and Nahiwi Lenny have a little bit of a a little bit of an interesting jump there at fence four. Savannah Sterling and Nahiwi Lenny, we hear the whistle as they come past the Land Rover Lounge at the Church Road Barrels. 
over A and B. Easy as you like, the purple and black colours for Savannah Sterling. There you go, DSE Mr. Anne Rosa Milner are home safe. A great way to finish for the Land Rover three star. Great way to finish for DSE Mr. Anne Rosa Milner. They are home safe. From Christchurch, works in Tekawata for Donna Smith. They look to have had a great cross country round. We'll get confirmation very shortly as we look for Nahiwi Lenny and Savannah Sterling. Nahiwi Lenny and Savannah Sterling. They will be popping back into sight over by the Waikoko Gardens. So safely over Lambert's couch and the first of the discoveries, they'll make their way around the mounted games as we get word that Louise Mulholland and Mr. McTaggart are underway. They have jumped the first fence and they are over in the polo grounds. Heading towards fence two, Louise Mulholland placed 12th after the dressage and a 64.9% dressage score. They moved up to ninth after a good show jumping round and they are 39.1. Madonna is the overnight leader on 32.7. We see Mr. McTaggart and Louise Mulholland coming across Elwood Road, the ninth after the show jumping phase we saw yesterday in arena one. Twelfth after the dressage here on Thursday morning, Land Rover Premier Arena. As we get word, Nahiwi Lenny and Savannah Sterling head to the Burley Arch and the Waikoko Gardens. At the water now goes Nahiwi Lenny and Savannah Sterling. She hails a cab at the first one, canters through the water and she'll disappear towards the leaf pit. As coming into Land Rover Premier Arena is Mr. McTaggart and Louise Mulholland. Over the wine barrels, up and over fences. 7A and B for Louise and Mr. McTaggart. Nahiwi Lenny and Savannah Sterling are at the leaf pit now. They'll pop back into view as they come back into Land Rover Premier Arena. They'll pop back into sight over by the IRT marquee. Savannah Sterling and Nahiwi Lenny at the leaf pit. Mr McTaggart and Louise Mulholland safely through the first part of the Waikoko Gardens. And here comes Savannah Sterling. Nahiwi Lenny at their second to last. Big leap over the little roll top. She comes to the Land Rover ramp. The final fence in the Land Rover CCI three star. She's home safe. Savannah Sterling and Nahiwi Lenny. Sixth after the dressage. They look to have had a great ride to the psychologist from Auckland. Savannah Sterling and Nahiwi Lenny. We see Louise Mulholland and Mr. McTaggart jump through Lambert's couch safely. Louise Mulholland and Mr. McTaggart, they'll disappear and head towards the top end of Timona Showgrounds. 
They go to the corner of Kenilworth Road and Karamu North. Up the top end by the Mounted Games and the Show Hunter here at Land Rover, Horse of the Year as we get word that McConnell Road and Sean Patton have started. Sean and McConnell Road sit 19th after the dressage. They head towards Elwood Road as they cross for the first time. Land Rover CCI three star. Comes across Elwood Road, does Sean Patton and McConnell Road. 19th after the dressage, uh, sorry, after the show jumping with a total points of 50.3, a head up towards fence four. The Beehive Oxer at it now. Up and over the Beehive Oxer as we expect Louise and Mr. McTaggart at the Land Rover Burley Arch. Here they are now. Up and over the Land Rover Burley Arch. They come to Waikoko Gardens for their second time. Land Rover Splash. Nice big drop into the splash. They'll go around the side of that. They'll jump the fish. They'll head through the water for their last time and they make their way to the leaf pit. Here comes McConnell Road and Sean Patton. Safely over the Church Road wine barrels. Easy as you like for Sean from Waitaki Plains. Rides the thoroughbred gelding by traditionally Bred by Jim Campen in Hamilton. As we should see Louise and Mr. McTaggart pop into view as they come towards the leaf pit and the main Land Rover arena. There she is at the leaf pit now. Louise over A and B. Through the water goes Sean aboard McConnell Road. As we glance now to the IRT marquee, here comes Mr. McTaggart for Louise Mulholland. They come through the IRT horseshoe all the way from Tamanui, ninth after the cost of the show jumping phase. They come to their last fence, the Land Rover barge. Up and over for Louise and Mr. McTaggart. They too are home safe. The first three of our 26 combinations are home safe. Land Rover CCI three star. As we see Sean and McConnell Road. They'll be making their way back to the Lambert's Couch and Land Rover Discoveries at it now. Over A and the first part of the Land Rover Discoveries and they'll disappear out of sight back towards Kenilworth Road and Caramu Road North. A lovely sight there in the Waikoko Garden, seeing all the people enjoy the beautiful Hawks Bay sunshine and the wonders that Land Rover Horse of the Year brings you. We see crossing Elwood Road is Amanda Ilston, the familiar white face of Verdello. You'll see all of these riders riding in their cross country colors. Each rider will have their own unique cross country colors. Big leap over there for Verdello and Amanda Ilston. They were 11th after the dressage with a 65.2% dressage. The fourth after the show jumping yesterday, Verdello and Amanda Ilston. 10 year old bay gelding by Latorio is Verdello as she comes to the Land Rover Premier Arena. Past the Land Rover Lounge, she comes to the Church Road Wine Barrels. Nice big leap over there. She takes the direct route to B. Sets him up, gives him a little bit of education and helps him through and away goes Amanda aboard Verdello. By Latorio out of the mere, the show stopper. And she'll head up the hill to the little log, just on the side there. Yeah. 
you see there Amanda having a little bit of issues at the Waikoko Gardens. She represents at eight, pops up the bank. She takes the black flag option here. These riders do have an option. It just means that they have a little bit more time added to their time. So she sees there you do the little bit of a zigzag. She sets up, turns back around. She now has to make up that time, but she has to make it up safely. Does Verdello and Amanda Ilston. They were fourth after the dressage. So she'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Will Amanda, a little issue there the first time through Waikoko Gardens. Land Rover CCI three star cost country. Land Rover Burley Day. As a reminder, if we get an opportunity, pop out and see the iconic Winner Avenue. Part of the Land Rover Burley Horse Trials Cost Country. There's a stretch called Winners Have, and it is a part of a history where every year's winner is commemorated on a special plaque. You see Amanda come through over the iconic Lambert's Couch. One of nine replicas of Burley. As Donna Excess and Elena Dorich are underway, 19-year-old from Auckland is Elena. She rides a 12-year-old Bay Gelding by Donna Wind. Donna XS, that third after the show jumping. They were ninth after the dressage. They sit on 34.2. The current leader sits on 32.7. Donna Edward Smith aboard DSE Clooney. Donna XS and Elena Dorich make their way through this winding 3.2 k's of course Land Rover Horse of the Year they come to the Land Rover Premier Arena the Church Road Wine Barrels is the first of four obstacles in here for the three star Elena Dorich Donna Excess up over the light wine barrels chips in a little bit at B but she's clear nonetheless Elena Dorich and Donna Excess we look for Amanda Ilston aboard Verdello. She should pop back in a view at the Land Rover Burley Arch. There she is, Amanda. At the Land Rover Leap. Into the splash. Up and over the fish. Candice through the water. As she heads off towards the leaf pit, does Amanda. One in the gate there to jump in, she's safely through. She'll pick up and she'll head towards the leaf pit. We look for Elena Dorich and Donna Excess. They'll be coming towards Lambert's couch. comes Amanda at the leaf pit, over A, it's down the steep bank, over B for Amanda and Verdello, she shortens up for the little skinny over C, she's then got to swing around to her left and jump the ditch that Verdello really didn't want to look at, the digger's ditch there, part of an old mining trail is the digger's ditch. They're really not interested in jumping down at Digger's Ditch for Verdello. And it will look as if Amanda will retire aboard Verdello. So Verdello and Amanda Elston will not be coming into Land Rover Premier Arena. We've also got word that Sean and McConnell Road have had a fall out on course, but they are okay. We won't be seeing McConnell Road and Sean coming into Land Rover Premier Arena. Caitlin Freeman, you see there on your screen as she gallops across Elwood Road. 
She's 11th after the show jumping phase, the only combination out on the track at the moment. And Landelshon by the stallion Landioso, owned by Kim Freeman, ridden by Caitlin. Nice big leap over fence four. She goes around what is going to be fence five for the four start, and she'll weave her way through these wonderful Land Rover show jumping arenas, part of Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Donna Rexess and Elena Dorich safely through the water for the second time. Land Rover Premier Arena, we welcome Landelshon and Caitlin. The bright pink of Caitlin, all the way from Otaki. This is her first season at three star for Caitlin. The familiar pink colors of Caitlin Freeman and Landelshon. We pick up now Donna Excess and Elena Dorich through the leaf pit. They come now to the diggers ditch. Up and over the ditch goes Elena and Donna Excess. She'll come back into view as she heads under the IRT arch. So we've got Caitlin coming through the Waikoko Gardens. Nicely done there for, for Caitlin and Landel Sean. Donna Excess and Elena Dorich heads to the last. The big Land Rover leap up and over she goes. And she is home safe. Elena Dorich aboard Donna Excess. They were third after the show jumping. The son of Donnawind is Donna XS for Elena Dorich. They'll do their cool down sequence as they allow the horse to recover after that 3.2K of cross country. Traveling at around about 450 to 475 meters a minute. As we see the pink colors of Caitlin Freeman. Nicely through the, over Lambert's couch and through the first of the Discovery Land Rovers down at the Land Rover Discovery Gardens. Lily Anderson comes across Elwood Road now. From Alexandra, generally the hottest place or the coldest place in New Zealand every day of the week down in the South Island, Central Otago, Alexandra for Lily Anderson. She rides Cadillac Deville. By the thoroughbred stallion, one cool cat out of the mere Laurie's plan. She weaves her way through Land Rover show jumping arenas and she comes to the main arena. She'll gallop past the Land Rover lounge and she'll head to the Church Road wine barrels. She sits 23rd after She's taken a detour, has Lily, gets back on track now. She'll have to make up that time or she will get time faults. Comes past the Nation Bar and the Land Rover Lounge. At the Church Road wine barrels now, Lily Anderson and Cadillac Deville. Nice big leap over A, she takes the different route to B. Big leap over the log for Lily. As we see, jump through the, land, the Burley Arch, up and over the Land Rover Splash for Caitlin and Landelshon. Nicely over the fish. She straightens up as she canters through the Waikoko water for the final time. Up and over the hedge, and she heads now to the leaf pit. Lily Anderson through the Waikoko Gardens for the first time. Easy as you like for Cadillac Deville. Land Rover CCI three star cross country here at Land Rover Burley Day. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. The sun is shining, it's a cracking day. A little bit of a breeze sets the temperature at around about 18 degrees. Perfect cross country weather. We see going through the lily, through the leaf pit now is K 
Caitlin Freeman on Landelshawn. She'll pop back into view as she comes to the IRT arch. Here she is. Final time for Landelshawn. Bred by dressage superstar Jody Hartstone. Busy trying to take pictures on the side of the ring is Jody over the Land Rover leap. Great ride. Caitlin Freeman all the way from Otaki on Landelshawn. Bred by the one and only Jody Hartstone by her superstar stallion Landioso. 11th after the show jumping. Great ride, Landelshawn, Caitlin Freeman. And she hops off and starts her cool down sequence after the Land Rover CCI three star. As we look to pick up Cadillac DeVille and Lily Anderson. They should be coming to the Land Rover Burley Arch. We get word that Gina VT Blumenhoff has started for Renee Faulkner. We should see the familiar colors of Renee cross Elwood Road very shortly. It'll depend on which one gets where first. Comes to the Land Rover at Premier Arena. This beautiful, beautiful Belgian warm blood. Gina VT Blumenhoff, a pickup ride for Renee Faulkner, owned by Alex Donald. 18th after the dressage is 14 year old Black Mare. They carry a score of 50.2. GT. Renee Faulkner and Gina VT Blumenhoff Papakura, they come to the Waikoko Gardens. At it now, up and off. Nicely over the little chevron there out at Waikoko Gardens for Gina VT Blumenhoff and Renee Faulkner. We look for Lily Anderson and Cadillac DeVille. They're safely through Lambert's couch in the first of the Land Rover Discoveries. They come to the Lily Pit. Over A, B, and C, they head now to Digger's Ditch. And they'll pop back into view as they come through the IRT Archway and Land Rover Premier Arena. Cadillac DeVille and Lily Anderson jumps the Land Rover leap. Last fence out on the track, Land Rover CCI three star for Cadillac DeVille. Renee Faulkner and Gina VT Blumenhoff just picking up the ride this year off Alex is at the Waikoko Gardens. The grey is cutting edge, comes across Elwood Road for Vicky Brown Cole. They're second after the show jumping. Jump to super show jumping. They were seventh after the dressage. There's a few rails in the top five or six in the show jumping yesterday out in arena one. Vicky Brown Cole aboard cutting edge. Eight-year-old Grey Mare by the thoroughbred stallion Guillotine. They'll make their way into Land Rover Premier Arena as Gina VT Blumenhoff and Renee Falconer. They'll be making their way back to Waikoko Gardens. Cutting edge comes to the church barrels. Watch Gina VT Blumenhoff on the big screen. Safely through for Vicky. Back to the water. Through the water for Gina VT Blumenhoff and Renee Faulkner up and over the skinny in the gateway for Gina VT Blumenhoff and Renee Faulkner. They'll pop out of view and they'll come back into sight as they head towards the leaf pit. Vicky Brown Cole and Cutting Edge heads towards Waikoko Gardens now. They come through the splash, they'll jump over the little island, they jump up the bank. Three strides over a skinny chevron, easy as you like for Vicky Brown Cole. 
and cutting edge. Second after the show jumping, as we come to the leaf pit for Gina and Renee Faulkner. Over A and B. Up and over C, they'll swing to their left as they head towards Digger's Ditch. They head now towards Land Rover Premier Arena. Gina VT Blumenhoff for Renee Falconer. They were third after the dress surge and had a couple of show jumping rails, pushed them down to 18th. This beautiful Belgium warm blood mare. Owned by Alex Donald, ridden by Renee Falconer at the Land Rover brush. Up and over she goes. Home safe for Renee and Gina VT Blumenhoff. Vicky Brown, Cole and Cutting Edge is safely through Lambert's couch. Up and over the first of their Land Rover Discovery brushes. And as we should see, the young lady from Levin pop back into view as she comes towards her fence three across Elwood Road. At it now, Abigail Long. She rides a cruising guy by the Irish sport horse stallion and Lang Ho Guy. She comes towards fence four now. The big white face on the chestnut gelding cruising guy. They were fourth after the dressage, a couple of rails, shoots them down to 12th place. After the show jumping, they head up the little stock bank towards fence four, the beehive hut. She'll make her way around the Land Rover show jumping arena and head towards the main Land Rover premier arena. They'll cut gallop past the Land Rover lounge. Cruising guy and Abigail Long. As we see now, coming to the Waikoko Gardens for the second time, Vicky Brown Cole. The familiar Union Jack down the arm of Vicky Brown Cole. Part of her wonderful cross country colors. Oh, a little bit of a wobbly one over the skinny for Vicky Brown Cole. As we see in the background here, cruising guy and Abigail Long, nicely ridden through the Land Rover Premier Arena. She hunts a little bit towards the log at the way out of Land Rover Premier Arena and sees her shoot out away towards the Waikoko Garden. She pops into view here, first time Waikoko Gardens. Abigail Long aboard cruising guy. At it now, up over 8A and B. Easy as you like for Abigail Long and Cruising Guy. Vicky Brown Cole will pop back into view at the IRT arch. She jumps Digger's Ditch. Vicky Brown Cole at the IRT archway now. Two from home. Aboard Cutting Edge, the second after the show jumping. She's looked to have had a great ride, has Vicky. Up and over the Land Rover brush, she goes through the flags and it's home safe. Looked to have been a great ride. Vicky Brown Cole aboard Cutting Edge. As Abigail Long and Cruising Guy jumps Lambert's couch. Great ride for Vicky Brown Cole and Cutting Edge. Eight-year-old Grey Mare by Guillotine. As Cruising Guy and Abigail Long head out towards Karamu Road and Kenilworth Road intersection. Abigail Long and Cruising Guy. 12th after the show jumping. We look for our next combination over at Elwood Road. They look to have had a run out by our view over at Elwood Road has Sparky Malaki and Susan Lamasseur. 22nd after the show jumping, the 10 year old thoroughbred gelding by Jazzadan. Jumps fence three as they come across Elwood Road. Cruising guy and Abigail Long should be at the iconic Burley Arch. They'll come back into view as they head to Waikoko Gardens Water for a second time. So we'll pick up 
Abigail Long and Cruising Guy. The big white chestnut face of Cruising Guy. Irish sport horse. 12 year old chestnut gelding at the Land Rover Splash. Drops into the water. Up and over the fish. Shortens up now. She has to jump the skinny in the gateway. Up and over that for Abigail Long and Cruising Guy and she'll head off towards the leaf pit. We look to Land Rover Premier Arena. Susan Lamasur and Mr. Sparky Malaki, the 22nd after the show jumping yesterday at the Church Road Wine Barrels. Susan Lamasur. The familiar black and white colours. Up and over B, nicely done for Susan and Sparky Malaki. Australian bred thoroughbred by Jazza Dane, son of Dane Hill, is Jazza Dane Sparky Malaki for Susan Lamasur. Abigail Long safely through the leaf pit as she heads now to the IRT arch. She'll pop back into view with two to go. Here she comes, Abigail Long, a board cruising guy, two from home. And over, and she heads now to fence at 20, the Land Rover brush. Abigail Long and Cruising Guy. Up and over she goes, a big pat, punches the air, looks to have had a great ride, has Abigail aboard Cruising Guy. We'll see her out on her other mount in the four star. And Susan Lamasur and Sparky Malaki. They look to take the option down at Waikoko Gardens. We could see in our other camera shot that Susan Lamasur and Sparky Malaki look to have had a few issues down there at the Waikoko Gardens, jumping through the first time. They'll disappear out of sight. They head towards Kenilworth Road, down towards the main entrance of Land Rover Horse of the Year. As Elise Edwards is underway, DSE Sagesis. DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards Smith. They're underway as we see Sparky Malaki and Susan Lamasur underway. They jump the Lambert's couch and the first of the Discovery Land Rovers. Sparky Malaki heads towards the Land Rover Burley Arch as we pick up. DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards Smith. Comes to the Land Rover Premier Arena, past the Nations Bar and the Land Rover Lounge. Heads towards the Church Road Wine Barrels, back number 313. At it now. Over A. Nicely over B for. DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards Smith. They are eighth after the show jumping. A nice show jumping course after placing 18th in the dressage. Elise Edwards Smith and DSE Sagacious. We look for Sparky Malaki and Susan Lamasur. They shouldn't be too far away from popping back into sight at the Land Rover Burley Arch. Over A and B, she's safely through, is DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards-Smith. Land Rover Horse of the Year, Burley Day. The CCI Three Star, the cross country phase, the big event for Land Rover Hoy 2020 for the Saturday, we've got our FMG Pony of the Year to get underway at around about quarter past five this afternoon in Land Rover Premier Arena. But we have got a whole lot more cross-country action coming to you. As we pick up DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards-Smith. They jump the Lambert's couch. 
As we go to the leaf pit for Sparky Malaki and Susan Lamasur. Over A, B and C. They head now to Digger's Ditch. Up and over Digger's Ditch for Sparky Malaki and Susan Lamasur. They'll pop back into view as they come to Land Rover Premier Arena. Sparky Malaki and Susan Lamasur at the second to last. Up and over, they come to the Land Rover brush now. Last fence for Susan Lamasur and Sparky Malaki. They are home clear over the Land Rover brush. Land Rover CCI three star is all complete for Susan Lamasur and Sparky Malaki. DSE Sagacious and Elise Edward Smith. They'll pop back into view as they come towards the iconic Land Rover Burley Arch. Just a reminder, those of you here on the ground, be very, very careful around the grounds. These horses are galloping around. They have right of way. Be very, very careful on the grounds, please. Those of you here on the ground at Land Rover Horse of the Year, please be very mindful that horses are galloping around. We saw Monica Oakley aboard Artist, the eight-year-old bay gelding by guillotine, gallop through the Land Rover Premier Arena and jump amazing through over the Church Road wine barrels as she comes now to the Waikoko Gardens. Artist for Monica Oakley. Oh, easily done for Monica aboard Artist. Nicely through the Waikoko Gardens, they'll disappear and head towards Kenilworth Road. They'll do a big loop around to their right and they'll come back towards the iconic Lambert's Couch. So we go to the leaf pit for Elise Edward Smith. From Wairanga in the Tikawata, partner of Donna Edwards Smith. She rides DSE Sagacious. Over the Diggers Ditch as she comes to Land Rover Premier Arena does DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards Smith. They were eighth after the show jumping. They come to the final fence, DSE Sagacious and Elise Edwards Smith. The Land Rover brush at it now. Big leap over that for Elise Edwards Smith and DSE Sagacious. Owned by Donna and Elise Edwards and Donna's father, Graham. By St. Reams is DSE Sagacious, ridden by Elise Edwards. They were eighth after the show jumping. They look to have had a great ride. As we pick up now, overnight leader, Donna Edwards Smith on DSE Clooney. Owned by Donna and Elise and Gay McClooney. They lead after the show jumping. They come up the stop bank, up and over. Nice big leap for DSC Clooney. They sit on a dressage, a dressage score of 32.7 after a clean show jumping. They come towards Land Rover Premier Arena. As we look to see if we can pick up Monica Oakley, she comes to the Land Rover Burley Arch. At it now, Monica Oakley aboard Artist. Heads towards the Waikoko Gardens for the second and final time. Does the eight strides there. Jumps over the fish. Canters through the water, does Monica. Up and over the little skin, even the gateway for Monica aboard Artist. We can confirm that Donna and DSE Clooney jumps a lovely combination through here in the Land Rover Premier Arena. They come now to the Waikoko Gardens. She shortens them up as they go up the little island. No jump on that this year. Up and over as easy as you can for Donna. Very, very accomplished eventing rider is Donna. She competed all around the world a few years ago back in New Zealand and based out of Tikawata.
Monica Oakley aboard Artis. They should pop back in a view. They lead after the dressage. Couple of rails in the show jumping. They come back through the IRT archway. Heads to the last fence. Does Monica Oakley aboard Artis. Up and over the Land Rover brush. Look to have been a good round for Monica aboard Artist. As we get word that Donna Edward Smith aboard DS Clooney is safely over Lambert's couch, over the first Land Rover Discovery, and heads away now towards the Mounted Games area and she'll pop back into view as she comes towards the Land Rover Arch. Savannah Sterling will be out on her second ride, Drums and Roses, by the Thoroughbred Stallion and Drums of Time. Studying a Bachelor in Science and Psychology is Savannah. She's already had one ride on Nahiwi Lenny. She's out this time on Drums and Roses. She sits in 13th place. DSE Clooney and Donna Edward Smith. They should be coming back into sight as they come towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. An iconic replica at the Land Rover Burley Arch for Donna Edward Smith. Comes to the Waikoko Gardens for the second time. Our overnight leader, Donna Edward Smith aboard DSE Clooney. The Land Rover Splash, nice big leap in for DSE Clooney. Up and over the little fish. The second part at the Waikoko Gardens. Comes to the skinny in the gateway. Up and over for DSE Clooney and Donna Edward Smith. Our overnight leader. We see now drums and roses for Savannah Sterling. Up the top of the main arena at Tomona Showgrounds, here for the Land Rover Horse of the Year, 2020. Savannah and Drums and Roses, 13th after the show jumping. They jumped up one place after a good show jumping. It left them on a total of 40.9. Donna safely through A and B of the leaf pitch. She comes to Digger's Ditch. She'll pop back into view at the IRT arch as we go to the Land Rover Lounge for Savannah Sterling and Drums and Roses. The familiar purple and black colours of Savannah Sterling. Donna Edward Smith at the Land Rover brush up and over for Donna Edward Smith and DSE Clooney. She looked to have had a great ride, did Donna. Aboard DSE Clooney, we'll wait for confirmations though from judges, of course. It's not up to us to say who or who hasn't gone and jumped the beautiful round. As we go to Savannah and Drums and Roses at the Waikoko Garden, safely through there for Savannah, aboard the 16-year-old son of Drums of Time. Bred by Cassandra Opie, ridden today by Savannah Sterling. Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. Land Rover Burley Day. Like I say, if you get a chance there, pop out and have a look, but please be safe. Stay off the laneways as these horses are galloping very quickly. Beautiful course, course designed by Chris Ross. New Zealand's best in the business. He is an FEI three and four star course designer is Cross. Included helping at the 2016 Rio Olympics along with badminton horse trials. A big thank you to Chris for the Designing and building of his course here, Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. We see Drums and Roses and Savannah Sterling jump through Lambert's couch and the discoveries.
So Savannah Sterling and Drums and Roses. They are 13th after the show jumping phase. They pop back into view as they come towards the Land Rover Burley Arch in the Waikoko Gardens for the second time. A beautiful, iconic replica of the Land Rover Burley Arch. You'll see it, Land Rover Burley. Drums and Roses for Savannah Sterling. Comes towards the Land Rover Splash. The second time in the Waikoko Gardens for Drums and Roses. The fourth time for Savannah Sterling. She was out earlier on Nahiwi Lenny. She hops over the fish. She weaves her way through the Waikoko Splash. Up and over the hedge goes Savannah Sterling and Drums and Roses. As we pick up the familiar sight of Jock Padgett jumping bing bong. Back number 319, the nine year old Bay Gelding by Crycon. Owned by Joe and Alex Ginnamore. Alex known as the name guy. Savannah Sterling aboard Drums and Roses. Heads towards Digger's Ditch. She'll pop back in a view as she comes to the Land Rover Premier Arena and the IRT Archway. At it now, Savannah Sterling comes towards Land Rover Premier Arena. Two from home. Comes to the Land Rover brush. Savannah Sterling aboard. Drums and Roses up and over. As we look to the front of the Land Rover Premier Arena, the familiar blue and black colors of Jock Padgett aboard a Bing Bong. Jock's greatest achievement, of course, we all know, is winning an iPod as a skills tester. Did Jock, a couple of years ago, won an iPod as a skills tester? Of course, we all know Jock, a very, very accomplished eventing rider. And he rides a Bing Bong. They were fourth after the dressage, a couple of rails down in the show jumping, and it leaves them with a total of 39.1. They come to the Waikoko Gardens. Over A and B, nicely done for Jock. Now residing just out of Telpo is Jock, full-time equestrian trainer, and he rides Bing Bong. Nine-year-old Bay Gelding by Crycon, out of Zed Karush. So just the five combinations left to make their way around this beautiful Chris Ross designed course here at Land Rover Burley Day 2020. The beautiful sunshine of Hawke's Bay. We see Jock Padgett jump over the iconic Lambert's couch. There's Goldstein Hawk for Katie Fleming pop back into view as they go over fence at four. The top end of Timona Showgrounds for Katie and Goldstone Hawk. They'll weave their way through the Land Rover show jumping arenas. As Bing Bong and Jonathan Pageant make their way to Land Rover Burley Arch. We'll stay with Goldstone Hawk in the main Land Rover arena. Here she comes. Well, Katie Fleming sounds like she's got a renter crowd here on the grounds, all the way from Paihatanui, just out of Wellington, rides the 13-year-old chestnut gelding by Cruiser, by, bred by Bruce Goldstone. 
As we'll pick her back up as she comes towards the Waikoko Gardens. Katie Fleming aboard Goldstone Hawk. So Kate Fleming and Goldstein Hawk safely through Waikoko Gardens for the first time. We pick up Bing Bong for Jock Paget safely over the little skinny in the gateway as he heads towards the leaf pit. So Jock Paget aboard Bing Bong. They were imported from Germany, was Bing Bong. Over Digger's Ditch and he'll pop back into view in the main Land Rover Arena. He'll gallop through the IRT archway. Bing Bong and Jock Paget. Land Rover Premier Arena, CCI three star, one from home. Fuller running is at Bing Bong. Big leap over the Land Rover brush. Home safe for Jock and Bing Bong. And my reckoning, a great round that should lift him up a couple of spots in the overall runnings. Bing Bong for Jock Paget. He begins his cool down phase, does Jock. Aboard Bing Bong. Three combinations left to come through Land Rover Premier Arena. The first of those should be Lily Anderson aboard DSE Sunset Pass. 25th after the show jumping on a total score of 60.6. We pick up Kate Fleming on Goldstone Hawk at the Land Rover Burley Arch. They look to have had a stop there, has Kate and Goldstone Hawk. They will be allowed to represent. But we'll stick with DSE. Kate Fleming over the Land Rover Burley Arch as DSE Sunset Pass and Lily Anderson comes to the Church Road Wine Barrels. Up and over. And Kate Fleming and Goldstone Hawk make their way through Waikoko Gardens for their second and final time. Heads to the little skinny brush. Up and over for Kate and Goldstone Hawk. They were 20th after the dressage. Two combinations left to start. Land Rover CCI three star cost country. It will be around about a 10 to 15 minute break as we reset the course for the four star at the completion of this three star course. They will jump a different set of obstacles. Some of them will be the same, just slightly to the left or the right. And jump the higher side as Kate Fleming and Goldstone Hawk safely through the leaf pit. They come to Digger's Ditch. Up and over the ditch for Kate Fleming and Goldstone Hawk. She'll come back into view at the far end of Land Rover Premier Arena at the IRT archway. She goes to the side of it. She rounds the two beautiful white Land Rovers. One left to go, Kate Fleming and Goldstone Hawk at the Land Rover brush now. Huge leap over the brush and she's home safe. Kate Fleming aboard Goldstone Hawk. Great ride for Kate Fleming and Goldstone Hawk. They were 20 after the show jumping. And they'll be happy to be home safe. Goldstone Hawk for Kate Fleming. DSE Sunset Pass for Lily Anderson.
as Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton make their way up and over the Beehive Hut. And they will weave their way through the Land Rover Show Jumping Arena and make their way to the Land Rover Lounge. Oh, Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton up and over the church barrels and the big log. Kapai Kiwi, the 17th after the show jumping by the thoroughbred stallion Toke. As we see DSE Sunset Pass for Lily Anderson. Make their way through the Waikoko Gardens. DSE Sunset Pass, a former winner of the Beyond the Barriers competition at Equidays. Great initiative set up of Beyond the Barriers returning retired racehorses to a sport after racing. Lily Anderson aboard DSE Sunset Pass at the Leaf Pit, safely through. Over Digger's Ditch goes Lily Anderson and DSE Sunset Pass. They come towards the Land Rover Premier Arena. They head to the side of the IRT archway. Jump the second to last as they come to the Land Rover brush. Lily Anderson on DSE Sunset Pass. Big leap over the last, and it is home safe for Lily and DSE Sunset Pass. Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton, 17th after the show jumping phase. They'll be coming to the Land Rover Burley Arch. Kapai Kiwi by the stallion Toke, bred by those wonderful people at Little Avondale Stud. Sam and Katrina Williams, Little Avondale Stud, bred Kapai Kiwi. The one we have on the screen is our final rider and horse in the Land Rover CCI three star. My focus for Renee Falconer, our second after the dressage, a couple of rails in the show jumping for my focus. And Renee dropped them down to 14th place after the show jumping. My focus for Renee Falconer. As Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton make their way to Waikoko Gardens for the second time. Up and over for Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton. As I can inform you, my focus and Renee Falconer safely through the Land Rover Premier Arena. They jump the church road barrels safely and then they do the eight strides towards the log. They come now to the Waikoko Gardens. Renee Falconer aboard my focus as Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton comes to the leaf pit. Over A, B and C for Jordan from Christchurch aboard Kapai Kiwi, 19 year old Jordan. She rides Kapai Kiwi. Known as Tui at home. Comes to the Land Rover Premier Arena. Gallops through the IRT archway. Two from home for Kapai Kiwi and Jordan Shrimpton. Nice big leap over the Land Rover brush for Jordan and Kapai Kiwi. They are home safe. A second to last combination out on the Chris Ross design. Land Rover CCI three-star. 
as we pick up Renee on my focus over Lambert's couch in the first of the Discovery Land Rovers. She'll disappear out of sight and we'll pick her back up as she comes back towards the iconic Land Rover Burley Arch. The 14th after the show jumping is my focus and Renee Falconer. You see her gallop past there in the background of the Land Rover Burley Arch. She does a little bit of a zigzag as she heads towards fences 14 and 15, the fallen redwood and the white oxer. And she'll come back into view as she comes towards the iconic Land Rover Burley Archway. One of nine replica Burley jumps. It's great to have Land Rover and Burley on board here for Land Rover Burley Day at the Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. Final combination out on track in the CCI three star. We do have the CCI four star still to come, so don't run away too far. Comes now Marie Collett owned my focus, ridden by Renee Faulkner from Papakura, vet nurse for veterinary associates in Auckland, is Renee. Jumps over the Land Rover splash, she heads towards the goldfish, up and over the goldfish goes Renee. Nicely over the little skinny. Only horse out on the track, Renee Faulkner aboard my focus. 12-year-old Bay Mare by Ramazotti of the Mare Priyalka Redwood. Part of the eventing future potential squad is Renee. On board her other horse, Ruben Star HH. Comes to the leaf pit now. Renee Falconer aboard my focus. Up over A, B. Nicely over C as she heads towards Digger's Ditch. Pops up over Digger's Ditch and she is two from home. She comes to Land Rover Premier Arena. She pops back into view as the IRT archway. She shoots under the IRT arch. Two from home. She goes around the lovely Land Rover discoveries. She comes now to the last. The Land Rover brush, Marie. Call it owned. My focus and Renee Falconer finishes off the Land Rover CCI three star. And that brings to completion the Land Rover CCI three star cross country phase. There will be a bit of a shake up with the leaderboard, but we'll have confirmed results as soon as we can. Back to you for the Land Rover CCI three star. And brings to completion the cross country phase for Land Rover Burley Day 2020. We do have the Land Rover four star still to come. There is 13 combinations to attack this beautiful Chris Ross designed course. They will jump a slightly different course. Overnight leader is Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca NZPH. And they sit on a total of 35.4. Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca NZPH. She'll be last to go. We had a couple of combinations pull out for a number of reasons of the four star. One of those is Clark Johnstone aboard Balmoral Sensation, having to withdraw after the show jumping phase. But he does have his other mount, Aces High, and he sits in sixth place at the moment. So we'll be back very shortly with Land Rover CCI four-star cost country. They'll reset the course. Grab yourself a coffee, something very, very quick to eat because we'll be about 15 minutes and get underway with the Land Rover CCI four-star cost country here at Land Rover Burley Day 2020.
quiz. Query. Try. Spy. Take cover. Go for a swim. Go on a whim. Go outside in and inside out. Look once. Look twice. Follow a compass, not a clock. Never stop discovering. So welcome back to Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020, where we are moments from getting underway. The Land Rover CCI Four Star Cost Country 13 combinations to attack this Chris Ross designed course. They'll go through the Waikoko Gardens twice. They'll jump a number of iconic Burley replica jumps. It's great to have Land Rover Burley Day here at Horse of the Year for 2020. Our overnight leader. Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca NZPH holds the lead in 35.4 penalties. Third place at the moment, just kidding, for Amanda Pottinger. They are on 36.2. The withdrawal last night of Balmoral sensation and Clark Johnstone means that, just kidding, and Amanda Pottinger will move into a clear second with Bundy Philpott and Tresca and Balmoral Sensation taking a joint lead. We have underway our first combination and that is Diane Gilder and Diane is from Drury. She is aboard your attorney. 15 year old Australian thoroughbred gelding by the stallion legal opinion out of the mere polar crown. Owner director of Southern Comfort Kennels is Diane she sits in seventh place after the show jumping we had yesterday here in Land Rover Premier Arena. One rail down in the show jumping for Diane. Leaves her with a tally of 44.5. Big leap over the roll top there at fence three. The groundsman picnic table, she comes across. Elwood Road and heads towards fences five and six. The Beehive Oxa, and then she'll come into Land Rover Premier Arena for the first time here at 6A, B and C. You see in front of you here, those of you on the grounds have got a prime view here in Land Rover Premier Arena. She'll gallop past the Land Rover Lounge as she makes her way through the Land Rover show jumping arenas. First combination are out on course. Diane Gilder aboard your attorney. Land Rover Burley Day 4, 2020. Here she comes. First combination. Diane Gilder rides the Australian thoroughbred gelding. Your attorney. At it now. A. Over B and C. Great ride. The familiar brown and white cap of Diane Gilder's aboard your attorney. She was sixth after the dressage, one rail in the show jumping, dropped her to seventh, up and over the big log on the edge of the dressage arena as she makes her way towards Waikoko Gardens for the first of two times. Comes to the Waikoko Gardens, through the water, up the little island, hops up the bank, three strides over the little skinny, sets over the four, up and over the Little skinny chevron for Diane Gilder and your attorney and she'll disappear out of view as she swings around to her right, heading towards Kenilworth Road. Heads back up towards the main entrance of Land Rover Horse of the Year and she'll come back and decide as she heads towards the iconic Lambert's Couch. One of nine iconic fences that we have replicated from the original and real Land Rover Burley horse trials in the UK. Designed by Chris Ross here for Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Diane Gilder at Lambert's Couch. She then goes to the two big discoveries, A and B. A little bit slippy there at B for Diane, but a big bold ride. She takes the three strides to the two strides over the bonnets of the Land Rover Discovery brushes. She'll disappear out of sight as she makes her way back up towards Karamu Road. And she'll go around the far edge of Timon at Showgrounds. 
And she'll pop back into view as she comes towards another great iconic fence, the Land Rover Burley Arch. So we see the grey of Adonna Edwards Smith aboard DSE Rodriguez is underway. They have jumped fence one as they make their way to fences two, three, and four on the polo grounds. We look for your attorney and Diane Gilder. They'll come to the Land Rover Burley Arch. They'll head into view very shortly, Diane Gilder. 15-year-old Bay Gelding, your attorney. Bred out of Australia by the Thoroughbred Stallion Legal Opinion. She won Puanui in March 2019. Did Diane aboard your attorney? Here she comes. Second time to Waikoko Gardens. Your attorney and Diane Gilder. The Land Rover Splash, big leap in. They come this side of the tree, up and over B. Got part C there, and then that is part D. It is an A, B, C, D combination through the Waikoko Gardens as we see the grey DSE Rodriguez for Donna Edwards Smith. They come towards the Beehive combination. 12th after the show jumping. They were 15th after the dressage. One rail in the show jumping yesterday leaves them in 12th place. Come to the beehives, up and over, goes DSE Rodriguez. Thoroughbred by the Stallion Columbia is DSE Rodriguez, owned by Donna and Elise Edwards-Smith. The Soho 13 group, as well as David and Leslie Gowen. Diane Gilder and your attorney heads towards the IRT archway as Donna and DSE Rodriguez makes their way to this end of Land Rover Premier Arena. We see Donna going through A, B, and C. A big leap over C for Donna. And Diane Gilder and your attorney finish. They are home safe. Diane Gilder and your attorney home safe. They look to have had a great ride to Diane. She gives your attorney a big pat. As we see Donna and DSE Rodriguez head to the Waikoko Gardens for the first time. Up and over A, B, shortens up for the four, and over C. We're out there earlier talking to superstar Vaughan Jeffress in the Land Rover Waikoko Gardens. He was walking that track doing a celebrity guided tour. It's very interesting listening to Vaughan's comments out there as these riders have the option to shorten up and take the five or to push forward for a four. As we watch these first two four-star riders go through as Donna should be making her way back towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. Donna over the first and second of the Land Rover Discoveries. A beautiful ride there through for Donna aboard TSE Rodriguez. She jumps the Burley brushes. Land Rover Burley horse trials are famous for the many different types of brush fences. Not only have we recreate, recreated a multiple of these brush fences, we've also recreated a Land Rover Discovery, and they jump the hood of the Land Rover Discoveries there, down the back at Waikoko Gardens. We get confirmation that our next horse, Aces High, for Clark Johnstone, is underway. It should pop into view as they cross Elwood Road. They'll be jumping fences three. Here they come, Aces High. The familiar white shirt and white jods of Clark Johnstone he rides aces high. He's got the glide cream on the front legs of the 10-year-old brown thoroughbred gelding, aces high.
Swallow running is ace as high as he starts on his track of this 3.8 kilometre course. He heads up the stock bank and comes towards the beehive hut. Clark on aces high. They sit in sixth place after the show jumping. One rail down for Clark as we pick up Jesse Rogers and Donna Edward Smith at the Land Rover Burley Arch. Comes to the Waikoko Gardens now. Donna Smith hops over the Land Rover leap. Up and over B. Well, as you see, ladies and gentlemen, he is a class act. Clark Johnstone aboard Aces High rides the Rob and Jean Johnston owned Aces High. Perfect ride through the Land Rover Premier Arena fences 8A and B and C. Brilliant ride, a Ford 4, back to a holding 2 over the log. Brilliant ride there for Clark as we pick up Donna. Jumps through the leaf pit, A and B. She takes the option here at the leaf pit on DSE Rodriguez. Shortens up over C. She's got to head back up the hill and then heads towards a Digger's Ditch. Donna Edward-Smith aboard DSE Rodriguez. We pick up Clark Johnstone at Waikoko Gardens aboard Aces High. Over A. Three strides, nicely done. Oh, he makes it look easy, doesn't he? Clark Johnstone aboard Aces High as we pick up Donna. Comes to the Land Rover skinnies. Jumps the skinny in between A and B. Nicely done. She comes to the last. DSE Rodriguez and... Donna Edward Smith up and over the last, and she will be home safe. DSE Rodriguez and Donna Smith. 11 year old Grey Gelding by Columbia. As so we pick up Clark as he comes to Lambert's couch in the Discovery Land Rovers over A, B, and C. Nicely done aboard Aces High for Clark Johnstone aboard Aces High from Martangi. Scheduled to go to the UK in a couple of weeks is Clark with his combination of horses. Clark Johnstone aboard Aces High jumps the Land Rover Burley Arch. He shortens up to come to the Land Rover Splash. Nice drop in to the Land Rover Splash. He rides up the hill a little bit, comes back to the sea, jumps through sea, the little log in the water, up and over the skinny corner, which is a D for Clark Johnstone. And he heads away now to the leaf pit as we get... Beth Wilson and Alto Atadu from Papakura is a Beth riding instructor and graduated from AUT with a diploma in paramedic science. She spent the winter of 2016 with Tim and Janelle Price in the UK. And Beth Wilson, 20 year old from Papakura, comes to the Land Rover Premier Arena at it now. Over A, over B. Ah, oh, beautiful ride, Beth Wilson aboard Alto Etadu. Great ride through A, B and C. Easy as you like. 
Nicely done for Beth as we look to pick up Clark and Aces High at the leaf pit. Here he is now. Over A. Looks to be taking the direct route. And B. Heads up the hill. Over C. That's easy for Aces High and Clark Johnstone. Nicely through Digger's Ditch as he comes back up the hill again. Does Clark and he'll pop back into view at the Land Rover Premier Arena with a two from home. We watch Beth Wilson and Alto at a two at the Waikoko Gardens. A, B, C. Over the last four, Clark Johnstone and Aces High. He'll stop his watch to make sure he's within the time allowed on this 3.8 kilometre designed course. Make sure he's inside the time. We pick up Beth Wilson and Alto at Adu safely through the Lambert Couch and the Land Rover Discoveries. Beth Wilson, out on track at the moment. On the Irish Sport Horse, Alto et Ardu, by Northwood Jetstream out of the Mia Ping. Bred by Imogen Neal. They won the DC Trophy in 2016. Did Alto et Ardu for Beth Wilson. So we look to Land Rover Burley Arch for Beth and Alto at Ardu. So we get word that Abigail Long and Belmont Holy Smoke are underway. We pick up the white face of the chestnut Alto at Ardu. For Beth Wilson, they jump the Land Rover Burley Arch as they come to Waikoko Gardens for one last time. Up and over, huge leap over the Land Rover splash for Alto Etadu and Beth Wilson. Over A, B, they head up the little ramp and C, beautifully done for Beth and Alto Etadu. Eighth place after the dressage with a 44.6. We see the familiar green and white colours of Abigail Long. Belmont Holy Smoke. An 11 year old chestnut gelding by the stallion Feltat. Bred at Grange William Stud. Owned by Abigail and Clive Long. So we see Alto Etta do safely over Digger's Ditch. She comes now towards Land Rover Premier Arena. Beth Wilson, Alto Etadu, at the two beautiful Land Rover discoveries. The skinny roll top. Over A, comes to B, shortens up nicely over the second to last for Beth. She comes to the Land Rover brush, at it now, huge leap over the last for Alto Etadu and Beth Wilson. They look to have had a great round. We'll get confirmations from the judges as Abigail Long. Beautiful ride through there. A little bit of a life at the Church Road wine barrels for Abigail Long and Belmont Holy Smoke. But safely through nonetheless. Abigail from Levin. Her 11th after the show jumping. Dropped to one place with their dressage score. And they have a Total score of 48.5. Does Abigail Long and Belmont Holy Smoke. Comes to the Waikoko Gardens. Big leap over A. Shortens up to B. Oh, look to have had a bit of a run out there at C. Does Belmont Holy Smoke and Abigail Long. She is allowed to represent. She just has to represent to the last Chevron. Jumps that and she'll disappear out of sight towards Kenilworth Road.
Land Rover Burley Day 4 2020. Coming to you out of the beautifully sunny Hawke's Bay. Great to have Land Rover here for a Burley Day at Land Rover Horse of the Year. Steve and the team. A big welcome to you guys for Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. If you get a chance later on today, pop on out and have a look at the beautiful Waikoko Gardens. The wonderful designed course by Chris Ross that these competitors are attempting to tackle and jump clear. Nice ride there for Beth through and up and over the Land Rover Discoveries. Balmoral, holy smoke for Abigail Long. They've made it safely over Lambert's couch. Over the two Discoveries. As we get word, Kristen Lane and Thundercat are underway. Belmont, Holy Smoke and Abigail Long head away towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. They'll disappear out of sight. They'll pop back into view very briefly as they gallop past the Land Rover Burley Arch. And we understand Thundercat for Kristen Lane is underway. Recently from Auckland is Thundercat and Kristen Lane, now living in the Hawke's Bay. Thundercat by Latorio out of the Mir Alley Cat. They were ninth after the dressage. They dropped one place to 10th after the show jumping. Thundercat for Kristen Lane. They were fourth in the CCI four-star at Puanui in December in 2019. Up and over fence five for Kristen as we pick up Beth and Alto Eta do at the Land Rover Burley Arch. She shortens up as she comes towards the Waikoko Gardens, a Land Rover splash for Belmont, Holy Smoke and Abigail Long. Over A, B, C and D. Oh, nicely done for Kristen Lane and a Thundercat safely through the Land Rover Premier Arena. Fences 6A, B and C. She shortens up, up and over the big roll top as she heads off towards the Waikoko Gardens. So we pick up Abigail Long and Belmont Holy Smoke coming to the leaf pit. Five from home for Belmont Holy Smoke and Abigail Long. Up and over A, B. Oh, she's got to shorten up as she heads up that hill. Take the black flag option there. Will Abigail on Belmont, holy smoke. As they head towards a digger's ditch. As we see Kristen Lane and Thundercat safely through the Waikoko Gardens, A and B and C. Nicely done, Thundercat and Kristen Lane. As Abigail Long and Belmont Holy Smoke come to Land Rover Premier Arena. The two beautiful white Land Rovers down in the far end of the arena. Over A and B, she comes to the Land Rover brush. Abigail Long and Belmont Holy Smoke. Now she gives him a big pat, does Abigail. And they are home safe. Abigail Long and Belmont, holy smoke. So we pick up Kristen Lane and Thundercat. Over Lambert's couch, over the A of the Discovery. And safely over B of the Discovery. They head away towards Karamu North Road. Goes Thundercat and Kristen Lane. And we get word that Arctic Cello for Elise Power are uh, underway. And they'll pop back into sight as they come across Elwood Road. We should pick up Kristen Lane and Thundercat very shortly as they come to the Land Rover Burley Arch. Then they will go to the Land Rover Splash. 
in the Waikoko Gardens. Out by the Bostock Picnic Day and the Land Rover VIP Marquis. Arctic Cello and Elise Power. They shouldn't be too far away from coming across Elwood Road. Here they come, up and over. Fence four goes Elise and Arctic Cello, 14-year-old Clydesdale Cross. 15th after the dress surgeon, 15th after the show jumping. We pick up Kristen Lane coming to Waikoko Gardens. Goes round the Bostock picnic at the Land Rover Splash. Nice big leap into the water. Over A, over B. She canters through the water, shortens up. Heads up the little ramp, takes on the skinny, and she's clear through D. It's an A, B, C, D combination there in the Waikoko Gardens as Arctic Cello makes their way now towards Land Rover Lounge. Into the Land Rover Premier Arena, we welcome Elise Power on Arctic Cello. 21-year-old from Takapuna, studying at Massey University. At A now, Elise and Arctic Cello. Over A and B and C, safely through for Elise and Arctic Cello, as we should pick up Kristen Lane and Thundercat coming into Land Rover Premier Arena. They make their way through the leaf pit and over Digger's Ditch. Here they come, Land Rover Premier Arena for the last time for Kristen Lane aboard Thundercat at the two beautiful white Land Rovers. Up and over A. Straight line down over B, she heads to the last. The Land Rover brush, Kristen Lane aboard Thundercat. <laughs> Arctic Cello for Elise Power safely through Waikoko Gardens brush. She will then head around to her left. You'll head to the wards of the main entrance here at Timona Showgrounds for Land Rover Horse of the Year, and then she will come back into view as she goes towards Lambert's Couch and the big brush fence, the two Land Rover Discoveries. Here she comes, up and over Lambert's Couch, forward ride to the Land Rover Discovery hood. Looks like she has a run out at the first one. The shape of two Land Rover Defenders. Don't forget the new Land Rover Defender is coming out very shortly. It's just been in Namibia testing. And by all accounts, it does even more than what the box says. Elise taking the black flag option there at the Discoveries. Comes around now to represent to part C. Up and over the bonnet of the Land Rover Defender goes Elise Power and Arctic Cello. Elise Power and Arctic Cello. They are underway, heading towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. Shannon Galloway aboard Day Walker. They were eighth after the dressage. One rail down in the show jumping pushed them to ninth. They have a total of 47.3. Day Walker and Shannon Galloway. 12-year-old bay gelding by Antonius Pierce out of the mere country down. Dave is his paddock name. Day Walker for Shannon Galloway. But we'll pick up Arctic Cello and Elise Power as they come through the Land Rover Burley Arch. Shannon Galloway crosses 
Elwood Road on Day Walker. Arctic Cello safely over the Land Rover Burley Arch. Comes now to the Land Rover Splash. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Arctic Cello for Elise Power. Big leap. Oh! Well, someone has to be first into the water. And unfortunately, today it is Elise and Arctic Cello. So you'll see there that her wonderful air vest has popped. It's like a big airbag, it's hooked onto the saddle, so should they part ways, it pops, and it's one big airbag that captures the body to prevent injury. As we catch now Shannon Galloway on Day Walker at the main arena, over the church barrels. And the first combination there to have any issues with 6B, she sets up now. Jumps it through the second time, does Day Walker and Shannon Galloway. All the way from Hamilton is Shannon, sponsorship and communication manager for Cycling New Zealand. Up and over the log goes Shannon aboard Day Walker as they head towards Waikoko Gardens. Shannon Galloway aboard Day Walker makes it safely through the Waikoko Gardens through A and B. She heads off to her left. And she'll pop back into view as she comes towards Lambert's couch. One of the nine beautiful replicas we have on site of Land Rover Burley in the UK. We have a replica of the Burley Arch, Lambert's couch, and of course, the Discovery brushes you'll see very shortly. Replicas of the Land Rover Defender. Up and over the Discovery brushes for Shannon and Day Walker. Safely through for Day Walker and Shannon Galloway. They'll pop back into sight as they come towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. We have confirmation that Arctic Cello and Elise Power are both up and walking safely after their tumble at Waikoko Gardens. So great to see both Elise Power and Arctic Cello uh, walking home. Shannon Galloway aboard Day Walker. Make their way towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. As we get confirmation and we see just there that Abby Thompson aboard Rockin' It is underway. Abby Thompson from Tikawata. And Rockin' It, a 13 year old bay gelding by traditionally. Rocking it for Abby Thompson, rocks across Elwood Road as we pick up Shannon Galloway coming towards the Land Rover Leap. Shannon Galloway at the Waikoko Gardens for the second time. Safely over A, B, and C as Abby Thompson aboard Rockin' It heads towards Land Rover Premier Arena. They make their way past Land Rover Lounge 
Abby Thompson aboard rocking it. At 6A, the Church Road Wine Barrels. 6B, the big roll top. She also has a run out, as did Shannon. She. Shannon Galloway aboard. Day Walker safely over the two white Land Rovers. Up and over the Land Rover leap for Shannon Galloway and Day Walker. Those combinations are home safe. Has rocking it for Abby Thompson. Makes her way through 6A, B and C here in the Land Rover Premier Arena safely. She heads now to the Waikoko Gardens for the first of two times. Up and over. 8A, B. Nice ride down over C for Abby Thompson aboard, rocking it. From Tikawata is Abby. Four combinations left to start. The Chris Ross designed CCI four star Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Four combinations left to go. Our overnight leader, Bundy Philpot. They now start in reverse order of faults. So our fifth place overnight is Monica Oakley and Acrobat. They'll be followed by Madison Crow, Amanda Pottinger and Bundy Philpot. Four left to go. The top four overnight after the show jumping, they come in reverse order just to add a little bit more pressure, just because we can, to the final combinations. We get pictures now of Abby Thompson aboard, rocking it at the Land Rover Defenders. And Abby Thompson aboard, rocking it, has retired down at the Waikoko Gardens, the Defender Brushes. So Abby Thompson aboard, rocking it, has retired. From the Land Rover CCI Four Star as we pick up the Warm Blood Thoroughbred Gelding, a huge leap. Over fence four. That is Monica Oakley aboard Acrobat by the stallion Eurosport Centavos. Full-time rider and coach based in Caraca is Monica. They were seventh after the dressage. They moved up to fifth after the show jumping with one of only two clears. Had a few little acrobatic moments in the show jumping, did Monica. Aboard Acrobat, this lovely nine-year-old black gelding by the stallion Eurosport Centavos. She comes to the Land Rover Lounge. Gallops past as she heads to Land Rover Premier Arena. The Church Road Wine Barrels at it now, over A. And B. And C, lovely done for Monica aboard Acrobat. She'll be looking to have a cracking round. The member of the New Zealand High Performance Futures Squad is Monica aboard Acrobat. Lovely jump over seven, the log, as they head now towards Waikoko Gardens. The only combination out on track is rocking it for Abby Thompson, elected to retire down at the Land Rover Defender Brushes. Monica over A, B. And C, nicely done down there at the Waikoko Gardens for Monica Oakley. Aboard Acrobat, three combinations left to start. Madison Crow, Muzzy Pottinger, and Bundy Philpot. Those are our three left to go in the cost country phase. Land Rover Burley Day 2020 here at Land Rover Horse of the Year. But at the completion of this class, we ain't finished here in Land Rover Premier Arena because at quarter to five, we will be walking the course for the 
FMG Pony of the Year. And at 5.15, we will be making a start in the Pony of the Year. We pick up Monica at Lambert's Couch. Over Lambert's Couch. Nicely over A, B at the Defender Brushes. Monica Oakley aboard at Cravat. She'll shoot out of view as she heads up Kenilworth Road and towards Caramu North. As we'd say, quarter past five, we're looking to get underway for the FMG Pony of the Year here in Land Rover Premier Arena. Out of Land Rover Burley Day. Three combinations left to start. Madison Crow, Muzzy Pottinger and Bundy Philpot. The top three overnight combinations are left to start. We look for Monica aboard Acrobat. They'll pop into view as they come to the Land Rover Burley Arch. We'll see the beautiful black gelding Acrobat come into view. They are fourth after the show jumping phase. 37.3 is their penalties. 35.4 holds the lead. There is not much in between it. Two penalties in between. That is simply time faults, because you get 20 faults for a stop in the cross country phase. Through the Land Rover Burley Arch comes Monica Oakley to the Land Rover Splash for the last time. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Nice big leap into the water. Shortens up at B. Takes a big check towards C. Three strides over the corner at the gateway for Monica and Acrobat. And they head to the leaf pit. We see there Madison Crow aboard a Waitangi Pinterest. Based in Hamilton is Madison, based at Clark Johnstone's yard in Martangi. And Madison, also one of our top riders looking to head overseas in April. As we pick up Monica through the leaf pit, A, B and C, nice and easy as you like. Comes towards Digger's Ditch. Does Monica Oakley and Acrobat. Madison Crow, Waitangi Pinterest at the Land Rover Lounge now. Six A, B and C. At it now, over the wine barrels. Over B, nicely done Madison Crow. And Whitingy Pinterest as we pick up Monica Oakley and Acrobat over the two Land Rovers, one from home. Monica Oakley, big leap over the Land Rover bush and she is home safe. And she'll push her stopwatch to make sure that she is in the time allowed for this 3.8 kilometre course. Monica Oakley and Acrobat, they looked like they had a great round. Madison Crow and Waitangi Pinterest out by the Land Rover VIP Waikoko Gardens. <laughs> Two combinations left to start. First and second overnight after the show jumping. Muzzy Pottinger holds second with 36.2. Tresca NZP. H and Bundy Fullpot hold the lead with a 35.4. Clear jumping for Bundy and Tresca. Shot them to the lead after the fifth place dressage. We pick up Madison Crow on Waitangi Pinterest. By the warm blood stallion Cassiano. Nicely through the defender brushes there for Madison and Waitangi Pinterest, the third after the show jumping. They were third after the dressage. Just one rail in the dressage for Madison aboard Waitangi Pinterest, bred by Jocelyn Bailey, owned by the Crow family, Richard and Molly. As we get the word now, Amanda Pottinger is underway. There she is at the first fence. Up and over the little chicken coop for Muzzy. And just kidding, from Havelock North, just down the road, 10 minutes away, is Muzzy. 
She rides the 13-year-old bay gelding by Fushiashi Pegasus out of the mere Gypsy Princess. Owned by the Pottinger family. We look for Madison Crow, Waitangi Pinterest. They'll come into shot at the Land Rover Burley Arch. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Land Rover CCI Four Star Cost Country. Two combinations left. The first of those two combinations is about to cross Elwood Road. Amanda Pottinger, but we'll keep with Madison Crow as she comes to the Waikoko Gardens for her final time. At the Land Rover Splash, Madison Crow, Waitangi Pinterest. Number A shortens up as she comes to see. Chips in a little bit, but she's safe nonetheless. And she's up and over D. Nicely done for Madison and Waitangi Pinterest. Amanda Pottinger aboard Just Kidding. 13-year-old Bay Thoroughbred Gelding. They rode at Adelaide the last two years. Five-star last year was Adelaide. She rides the four-star here. Land Rover four-star for Amanda Pottinger. She comes now to the church barrels. Up and over A. Nice ride over that. No, oh, easy as you like for Muzzy and just kidding. They sit in second place after the show jumping yesterday. Great ride for the business analysis for BEL Group Dairy Farms as we should pick up Madison Crow as she pops back into view here coming towards these two beautiful Land Rovers. Up and over A. Four strides over the little roll top. One to go. Madison Crow, Waitangi Pinterest at the last. She's up and over the Land Rover brush. And she too is home safe. She'll stop her watch to make sure that her timing is as accurate as it can be. There is a time, an optimum time and a time limit on this course. And time faults could be essential with only three penalties covering these top three riders. Great ride, Amanda Pottinger through the Waikoko Gardens for the first time. No, one combination left to start in the Land Rover Horse of the Year. CCI Four Star Cost Country, part of the Land Rover Horse of the Year. CCI eventing C Three Star and the Four Star. Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. Our first combination, our last combination is underway. Our overnight leaders, Bundy Philpot aboard, Tresca NZPH. They are underway. Dressage score of 35.4, clear jumping in the show jumping. Leaves them on 35.4 as we should pick up Amanda Pottinger at the Land Rover Burley Arch. One of these nine beautiful replicas of the Land Rover UK Burley Fences. Muzzy aboard, just kidding. She will be wanting to jump a clear round. Land Rover Burley Arch for Muzzy Pottinger. Here she comes. Up and over that she goes. She comes to the Land Rover Splash for the last time. She shortens up. Ferg, as he's known at home, jumps in the big splash. Oh, Ford ride to B. She shortens up again to C. Nicely done. That's how it's easy is. Um, safely through the Waikoko Gardens for Muzzy Pottinger. And just kidding. Overnight leaders Bundy, Philpot aboard Tresca are underway. 
They head towards the Land Rover Lounge. The last combination in the Land Rover, CCI, Four Star, Bundy, Phil Potter, Board, Tresca comes to the Land Rover Premier Arena. Muzzy goes through the leaf pit. Oh, simple as four. Bundy, Philpott and Tresca, NZPH by Fuago du Palais. Bred just down the road at Ocean Beach by New Zealand Performance Horses. We cast our eyes up to the top end of Land Rover Premier Arena. Down by the two beautiful white Land Rovers. Over A and B for Amanda and Ferg. Over the last, Amanda Pottinger, just kidding. Through the finish flags. They'll stop their watch. She gives Ferg a big pat. It looked like a wonderful ride for Amanda. And just kidding. And they will head off and start their warm down. A big run for these horses. 3.8 Ks. As we see, Bundy Philpot head through Waikoko Gardens for the first time on Tresca. Forward ride to be up and over C. Safely through for Bundy. And Tresca, they'll pop back into view as they come towards Lambert's couch and the two Land Rover Discovery brushes. Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca, comes to the Lambert's couch replica now. Over A, B. Not quite sure over C. I'll leave that to the jump judge to determine that as they disappear out of sight and head up towards Karamu Road. They'll pop back into sight as they come towards the Land Rover Burley Arch. Will Bundy, Philpot, and Tresca. And NZPH. Final horse on the track. Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca NZPH. From Cambridge is Bundy, full time rider. Bundy Philpot on Tresca NZPH. Overnight leaders. They sit on their dressage score of 35.4. Look to be having a good run from what we can see here. They'll pop back into view very shortly at the Land Rover Burley Replica Arch. Here she comes. She, sh she shortens them up. Pops over the arch, does Bundy. She comes to the Land Rover Splash. Shortens them up. Make sure she's collected enough to drop over this big log into the big splash. Lengthens the reins enough to drop over the drop. She shortens up again. Up and over C. Strong ride up and over D. The little skinny in the fence way for Bundy Philpot and Tresca NZPH as she'll head away towards the leaf pit. 13 year old Bay Gelding by Fugo du Palais. We should see Bundy Philpot pop back into view as she comes towards the leaf pit. Here she comes now at the leaf pit, Bundy Philpot, Tresca, NZPH, over A and B. She shortens up as she comes back up the hill, up and over C. Gives the sand a little bit of a rub on the top. She comes down to Digger's Ditch. Big leap over the ditch as she's three fences from home. The final combination in the Land Rover, CCI four star, overnight leader, Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca in ZPH. Here she comes at the two white Land Rovers. Over the roll top. A shortens up over B. She's one from home. Bundy Philpot, Tresca in ZPH. Up and over the last. She pushes down to the finish flag. She will stop her watch. I know Bundy was a little bit nervous about the time. But a very accomplished rider is a Bundy. She would have done everything she can to stay inside the time allowed over this 3.8 kilometer track. And that will bring to completion 
the CCI Four Star Land Rover Cross Country at Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. And a great jumping effort by a number of combinations. Tresca, NZPH and Bundy Philpot brings to completion the Land Rover CCI Four Star for 2020. As soon as we have confirmation of results, we will be able to bring you those. But a big thank you to everybody here at Land Rover Horse of the Year for the running of the Land Rover CCI Four Star and the Three Star Cost Country. Great to have you on board live streaming wherever you are via Sky Sport Next. Don't run away though, because at quarter past five, we are set to get underway with the FMG Pony of the Year. Another great title set to get underway at 5.15 New Zealand Standard Time. Coming to you live and exclusive via Sky Sport Next. Ultramox, the multi-worming solution for horses from Bayer. Ultramox is the only triple active wormer that contains moxidectin. Ultramox is effective against internal parasites of horses, but the addition of moxidectin means that it's also active against encysted cyathostomes. Ultramox was developed in New Zealand and is manufactured in New Zealand for New Zealand horses. Available from your local vet, equine specialty or farm supply store. Bayer, science for a better life. Quiz. Query. Try. Spy. Take cover. Go for a swim. Go on a whim. Go outside in and inside out. Look once. Look twice. Follow a compass, not a clock. Never stop discovering. Hastings is a warm and plentiful district, a place in the sun feeding the world with its abundant riches, glorious fresh fruit and produce, award-winning wines, swimming and biking, fantastic weather and fun in the sun. Hastings has an outstanding landscape, the triple peaks of Temata and the stunning Cape Kidnappers with its famous colony of gannets. Hastings is the heart for many of New Zealand's favourite sporting pursuits and attractions. The business and retail precinct is at the top of its game. At the helm, its innovative, hard-working community. A diverse global and Māori culture enrich our district. Our kete is now full to the brim. Come and bask in the bounty of the Hastings district, the heart of Hawke's Bay.